I'm Robin. And coming up, I'm going to show you how I got this cool texture on this milk can that I made. But first, let me show you how I made this everyday farmhouse vase using Chanel stems, a plastic cup, hot glue, and some cord. So the first thing I did was I glued all of the Chanel stems all around the cup so that some of them were sticking up. Then I took the cord that I got from Dollarama and I glued it to the bottom of the cup just going around and then I started going around the bottom of the cup in layers. So I went around about four times, just adding hot glue to the cup and moving the cord around. I also pushed down on the cord. Then I went in and out of the Chanel stems. So I was kind of doing a macrame look and you want to be pushing down on the cord as you go around so that there's no gaps. And I just continued doing this all the way around. Once I got to the top, I bent all of the Chanel stems outwards and here's how it looks. Then I took more cord and weaved it in and around the top stems. Now I didn't like it. So I decided to put some burlap ribbon on the top to cover it up because I didn't like all of those little stems sticking out. And once I got the burlap on, I thought it needed a little something else. So I had this lace. In fact, the burlap ribbon had that lace on it and I peeled it off and then I put it on this way. So I'm just adding hot glue and sticking it on. Once that was done, I liked it, but I needed something more, so I added a bow. And here's how it looks. I think it looks gorgeous. And everyday farmhouse. I'm participating in the five under five dollar DIY challenge hosted by Missy from Crafty Cove DIY, Emily from Farm Charm Chic, and guest host LaParsha from Creating It Myself. Make everyday farmhouse items under five dollars. Check out their links and the playlist in the description box. For my next DIY, I took an old plank and some stain that I had gotten in a Michael's grab box. I worked on this in a live stream and I'll link that above. Once the stain was dry, I had these smaller boards that I cut down to size because I wanted to make a barn door. So I measured and using glue, so I used two kinds of glue. I used Gorilla Glue for wood and I also used hot glue as well to glue down the planks. I had two long ones, but I needed to cut out some other sizes. So using this square, I measured where to cut and then using my scroll saw, I cut out the different angles to fit them in. So I'm just placing the pieces where I want them, measuring, cutting, sanding off the end, and then gluing them down. Once 
Once the glue was dry, I decided to add some mason jars to it. Let's make a DIY. Tie a bow of ribbon around the mason jar. Add fairy lights. Add flowers for a beautiful look. I attached my flower vases to my barn door and this is what I came up with. I thought it looked awesome and everyday farmhouse. For my next DIY, using some clothespins and the box that the jars came in, I separated the clothespins and then I glued them onto the sides of the box. And here's how it looks like so far. Then I got this moss and I glued that to the sides. Just putting down hot glue, then moss. Just pressing it down until I completed both sides. Then I took some floral foam, cut it up, and some faux dirt that I had previously made and put that on top. Here it is. I had made this wreath around Valentine's Day and I really wanted those white flowers and I tend to do that repurpose my DIYs so I took out most of the white flowers and inserted them into my moss farmhouse vase. There was also some grapevine as well, so I added those in. Just stuck them in different spots. I was trying to achieve a, like almost like a bush look. I had these florals from Dollarama, so I added those in just to give it a pop of color. So it was one long floral and I cut it into three pieces. And here's how it looks. Then I thought it needed something else. So I took some of this onion grass that I had gotten at Dollar Tree. And I just taken out all of the pieces and sporadically put them into the vase. And then I added the butterfly. Here's how it turned out. I thought it looked so everyday farmhouse. The horse picture complements it so well. Don't you agree? Let me know in the comment section below. For my next DIY, I took one of these paint caddies, cut off the top, then using my scroll saw, cut it into pieces, spray painted it black, but I didn't like it, so I covered it with white. And I really liked how it was coming out because it kind of looked gray and more farmhouse. Then I took some of these florals that I had gotten at Dollar Tree and some more of that floral foam. I do repurpose it a lot. I painted it black so that when you could see it in between the little holes in the container, you wouldn't see green. So I just put that in. Then I added some summer savory that we had had at Easter time, believe it or not. I saved it from stuffing that was made. And I added some little rocks that I'd gotten at Dollarama and some more of that moss. I even threw in a little pine cone. Now with this one, you can actually put it on the wall because of the holes in the back of it. And here's how it looks. My little owl says, hoo hoo. 
who loves the farmhouse look? For my next DIY, I decided to take this vase that I had on hand from last year's Mother's Day and paint it metallic silver. First, I dispersed spray adhesive all over the vase. Then, I began painting and the paint stuck to the vase fantastic. Not only that, but when it was dry, it gave me this cool texture that made it look more like metal. So I'm just continuing painting. I only needed one coat of paint as well. And here's how it looks so far. Then I took a mason jar ring, cut it in half and painted it. And I'm just deciding where to put it on the vase to make it look more like a milk can. Someone suggested the top. So using hot glue, I generally added some and then I adhered it right onto the vase. You should check out my live stream that I made this project on. Here's the milk can so far. And I'm just touching up the hot glue areas to try and make it look more like metal. Then I'm adding some flowers and I couldn't decide which flowers I like best. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Here's how my milk can turned out. Isn't it gorgeous? It's so everyday farmhouse. And my cow pitcher complements it so well. It always puts me in a good mood when I decorate with everyday farmhouse. These everyday farmhouse inspirational ideas are the perfect complement to your home decor. These vases can be just as beautiful on their own or filled with beautiful flowers. If you want to see the video on how I painted the cow, click here.